So hi, Steve. Um, very important person in the world of fitness equipment because you are the uh, MD of, of fitness equipment services. So, so what do you do? So we've uh, we've got a team network of engineers not dotted about the, the UK, visiting customers and their home addresses, repairing fitness equipment. So we've got probably 10, 11 engineers nationwide. Um, alongside that, we have a call centre and a warehouse full of parts that, that sit here in Stoke-on-Trent. And basically, if you've got a problem with a bike, a treadmill, a cross-trainer in your home, one of our engineers will fix it. Away we go. Job Absolutely, and that's something that we uh, we offer our, our, our customers if they if, if they need that, and you do that on our behalf. So it's uh, it's absolutely great. Well, what a lot of people want to know is, you know, how do they maintain uh, their fitness equipment? So if we can just let, let's take exercise bikes. So we have two exercise bikes at Roger about Fitness. We have the folding bike and we have the gold bike. Um, yeah. What are your your top tips for for maintaining those products? So your bike, your main body of a bike comes uh, pre-assembled. So there's nothing you can physically do to the internal parts of a bike. But your best course of action to maintain a bike is to lubricate uh, the pedals, the crank axles, anywhere that there's a moving part, lubricate it. Bit of E40 or grease, perfect. That's all. And how often should, should somebody do that? Um, probably every six months is probably fine with a with a bike. No need to do it more. You know, more common than that, more often than that. Um, if a noise develops, if a squeak develops, then obviously direct your your lubrication to that sort of area uh, to reduce that. Uh, usually that'll take it away uh, and, and away you go okay so what about another tip for maintaining your folding bike or your gold bike level floor basically the the foot the, the bike will come with uh two stabilizers front and a rear and um the rear stabilizer usually comes with adjusters so that you yeah. can level the product on the floor so a level pl platform to start off with adjust the feet so that the product is sitting flat when you're using but why is that so important steve because well, when you are using the machine, you will rock from side to side if it's not flat. It'll, it'll be an uncomfortable experience, shall we say. And you are then putting extra stresses on, on the joints of the machine. For example, the handlebar post, there's usually a couple of bolts that secure that to the main frame, you're putting extra strain on those. And you're introducing a way to increase the likelihood that you'll get a, a strange noise from the machine or you know an issue going forward. Okay, cool. So, Steve, any other tips for, for maintaining your folding bike or your gold bike? So... From a from a bike point of view, assembly uh, is is key. Make sure that when you assemble the bike, you follow the instructions correctly, and um, be aware that when you are assembling the post and the and the console, it's easy to trap a cable, really easy mm -hmm. to trap a cable, and that'll give you issues. Obviously, you'll have to replace the cable, etc. The console won't work, and the pedals on on the bikes need to be tightened up tightly. And number one tip for bikes on assembly is the left hand pedal is a reverse thread. So on the right-hand pedal, you'll tighten the, the bolt in, in a clockwise direction. On the left-hand side, you'll, you'll tighten it in a... In a and that's the same for every bike, is it? Is that yeah. universal? Yeah, it's universal across bikes.